Hey guys, welcome to the Source Gaming Discussion. I am your host, Martin, and today I am joined by Colin, as well as special guest, Mr. Mario 2011. If you want to check out parts 1 through 3, there will be a link in the description below and in the card in the upper right hand corner. Anyways, with that out of the way, please enjoy the rest of the video. My outrageous claim for the next year, my outrageous prediction, um, you know how you're talking about how basically the next Xbox will just run a gaming fo like focused version of Windows? I think they're going to go into it hard. My prediction is I think the next Xbox will have a full Windows desktop in it. Because that would be a, a industry shattering announcement if you could play PC games and use PC programs on the Xbox. And the way to do it wouldn't even be that hard. You just have the Xbox, you plug a controller in, and it's a normal console. The minute you plug in a keyboard and mouse, boom, Windows desktop. It's not even that weird of a concept, because Microsoft has products that do I, that already. I think it's possible. Windows, I just don't know how well it can be conveyed, and really if there's a demand for it either. I still think they're going to keep a separation of, uh, of I, console I and think, desktop. I think with how much hardware and like power they're putting into these things... It, it would be perfect. Because then, because at that point, man, you could put anything. You could put anything on the goddamn Xbox. The 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 idea of of what games you can play on the Xbox completely falls away. Because then you can just play whatever your PC library has. And I and I and I just remembered this right now. Um, there was recently a data mine of Steam. And there was Xbox Live strings in it. So who knows? So 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 who knows? Maybe maybe we will see more PC stuff come to Xbox. I think that'd be awesome. And I think that would like really, really mix things up. Could you imagine like emulating Wii U games on your next <laughs> Xbox? Like could you imagine emulating The Last of Us on the PlayStation 3 emulator on the next Xbox? That would be insane, and they can do it. They could totally I guess, do it. I guess unofficially it would have to be done, of course, because Microsoft's certainly not going to promote that. Like that specific well, they're not going to promote instance, it, but, yeah. but if it's a Windows desktop, then yeah, you like, can throw that Anything on goes. Yeah. I, I still think even, even with that, though, they wouldn't do it just because so with, with UWP, it does allow easy porting and kind of switching up apps and everything, but then they still have that barrier, which is how anytime, you know, a shady emulator gets put up onto the Xbox One marketplace, it's taken down within a day or two. Yeah, another thing too to mention is if they open up the console, then that would mean piracy. For sure. Well, it, I, as I said, I think it really just comes down to how they implement a Windows desktop. Maybe. May, maybe, like... It seems like they're already making a an OS for these devices and possibly these devices alone. So, you know, who knows? Maybe maybe this version of Windows is, like, more secure for running games on it. I actually don't know how, like, piracy with UWP apps is, like, at all. Like, is that a thing? Can people pirate, like, Gears of War 4? Uh, it is possible, to my understanding. I know you can some... sideload stuff, there, And there, but... there are some ways about it, yeah. Of There's course, nothing be, like, on Xbox, stuff, but it's, yeah. on, it's on PC. Or you could just do the Forza Horizon thing and upload a dev build of your game. That that did happen. They issued a dev build as an entire update. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a goofball thing. Yep. Um And then I don't know. I guess I guess that like I I think like the, the most outrageous things I could claim are just what whatever Microsoft does with Windows and Windows devices in relating to gaming, I I'm very curious to see if they would make a a portable Xbox that's just basically a Surface Pro with a a controller attached. Who knows? Hmm. I mean, another thing too to mention, um, and I know we're kind of getting away from uh, Nintendo and going back to Microsoft, <laughs> um, is the fact that they're emphasizing their streaming service. Um, yep. I don't know what it's called. It's like something Xbox. Well, obviously something it's Xbox. It's Cloud, I think, right? Oh yeah, X Cloud. Yeah. Oh. 
Man, I really don't want to talk about streaming stuff, if only because you know how I feel about streaming <laughs> stuff. Oh my god. I think that's like the biggest nightmare of them all. Yeah, so I guess we'll get off the, the, the topic of sure. just, well, I mean, just get off the topic of rumors and speculation about the console manufacturers because we're in just plain speculation territory right now. Um, and I say that because the next topic we're going to cover, and I, I, I assume it's not going to be as long, um, is what other competitors might throw their hat into the ring. And I, I'll say that this seems like a far outlandish idea, but I think as the years have gone by, you've had these tech giants kind of minusculely interested in gaming. Um, do you guys think any of the tech giants like Amazon or Google will throw their hat in the ring and make like a dedicated console? I think, and this is actually kind of going into the cloud stuff, so fuck, we have to talk about it anyway. Um, I think that I think that Amazon, <coughs> I think that Amazon and Google, because I think they're both. Google is definitely working on game streaming. I think it's been rumored that Amazon is working on it. I think Verizon I think, is getting into it as well, too. I think Amazon and Google are going to push for new iterations of stuff like the Fire TV and the Chromecast and and just kind of turn them into, like, Steam Links. Uh, where they just, they just stream games from the cloud i imagine google can already do that with chromecast I, I i'm not in their project cloud beta so i i can't like test it for myself um but i mean that's got to be possible that's got to be possible to just play like their already streaming version of assassin's creed on the streaming device you have i can't imagine it needs a lot more hardware to you know run video um same thing with the fire tv i imagine it's just it could just be released as a, you know, a, a program for it. And even NVIDIA is doing it with the Shield, where they have GeForce Now on the Shield. Um, as I kind of said with the discless Xbox, it'd be a nice option. But I don't want it to be the main thing. But it, it could be a really cool concept. I think if you could just plug a Chromecast into a TV and play video games, uh, if it works well, that'd be neat. But... I'd probably still use a Switch too. I think I've done well for sure, and in the next few years, it depends on how customers are going to be like as well too. Because, for example, yeah. PlayStation Now was that, and from what I understand, you know, it works well for certain things, but then for other games, like for example, fighting games over stream is just no, it's a wrap. You cannot do yeah. those. Um, but other games, like let's say The Last of Us, for example, I'm sure that would play just fine. Uh, however, Sony was doing that same concept where they had several TVs out where it was a TV that had internet capabilities and it had PlayStation Now on there. So you could literally just take a DualShock 3 controller and pair it with your TV and stream games directly on your TV, no console involved. But they actually discontinued the PlayStation Now service on several of, the, several of their TVs and I feel like it was just because people weren't gravitating towards that at all and when they were getting those tvs they weren't using that feature and i'm sure sony saw that absolute lack of use so there was no need to maintain that market so it depends on what people are directly going to be looking for with any other contenders coming in i don't think they're going to release any actual consoleized hardware so to speak and any game options would really be more streaming boxes and such um but then again, you know, that's going to kind of limit your game options there. And it's just going to really depend on how well it's implemented. And I think the hardest part, because the technology can be there, I think the hardest part of out, out of any of this is getting your audience onto that. Like, getting your audience to see, hey, we can just play, like, on a Chromecast, we can just play Assassin's Creed Odyssey on the Chromecast with this controller synced up, as opposed to getting it on PS4. But I'm sure... A vast majority of people who get that streaming box or whatever it is, like a Chromecast for this example, aren't doing it for gaming capabilities at all, so that's not going to appeal to them. Yeah. Right, and the other factor to bring in too is internet speeds. 
and a lot of analysts say like our internet isn't really up to snuff for like a not at all. Right. Hey, if you want to hear uh, what I think about cloud gaming, uh, check the link down below to my RE7 cloud article, because <laughs> because I'll because I will basically just be saying all of that stuff repeated for the end of time when it comes to cloud gaming. I think I, I think there's no reason for me to say anything more about cloud gaming that can't also be said um, in that video. So, uh, in, the, in the article. I'm sorry. It was going to be a video that, 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 you know, wasn't. Just use your imagination. It'll work. Yeah. <laughs> just just imagine my uh, sultry voice reading that article when you read it. And you see, like, the uh, the two typos in there that I think Nan anytime, accidentally slipped in there. Anytime I read an article by Colin, I read it in the voice of the angry video game nerd. <laughs> what a stupid... What were they thinking? But yeah, no, I... Uh, in regards to streaming, I think that's what the main tech giants are going to focus on because I don't think they're going to want to put their hat in the ring with a full dedicated console because to them it might not be worth it or it might cost too much. I mean, hell, Microsoft, when they even tried it, uh, their, their gaming division doesn't even make profits, even though they still do it, which is just insane, but... Uh, it's a loss leader, if anything. Well, I think I think all of the consoles this gen are making money. There, I don't think there's a single console that they that is losing money. Um, I I do I know for a fact, especially that the Switch, the Xbox One base, and the <laughs> PS4 are all being sold at a profit, uh, which makes sense because the Xbox One had a really cool markup with the uh, the Connect there, but. Um, I think the One X is being sold at a profit too, which makes sense. I think it's just, it's really powerful, but it's kind of using slightly older guts. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, definitely. So we'll, we'll have to see whether or not the next consoles will be sold. Um, like the, the PS3, not, I mean, not as extreme as the PS3, but, uh, yeah. the same concept, but I think they're, they're going to start just making profits on it. Um, I'm actually curious if the X is sold for profit or if it's similar to the ps3 where they're losing some money i think as i said i think it's profit okay so <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see what happens with uh anaconda because that's just gonna be honestly too much if it's like super yeah. super uber powerful and uh they don't make money off of it but yeah uh do you guys have any final thoughts on just the next generation as a whole uh, i'm good for now all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's about it. Oh yeah, the Mad Box exists. I, I guess. I, I guess. We'll see. We, yeah, that's. Yeah. I guess we'll see. That's exactly how I feel about it. Oh yeah, that. Uh, I, I, I seen an article on it, but isn't it like just an emulation machine or something? I don't think it's an emulation no. machine. It's supposed to be a console that's supposed to compete with the other consoles, and it's going to come out in two or three years, something like that. Also, apparently the Xbox One X is not sold at a profit, but it's also not sold at a loss. All right. So it, it, it's just sold. They just make no money and they lose no money. Great. Yeah. I mean, as, as I said before, it's going to drop in price yeah. eventually. I was going to say, it's, it's better for them to break even than to, uh, yeah. to sell it at a loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, it definitely helps, uh, even if they're not going to make a profit. You don't want to lose anything either, so right, that's that's nice middle middle ground. So, but yeah. Uh, also, too, regarding the 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 Madbox, watch that just turn into like the next Coleco Chameleon. Oh no! I <laughs> no, it'll it'll, I, I want, it'll I, turn. I, into, I don't know. I kind of uh, want to see that again. <laughs> it's not an emulation thing. It's it's just like. PC guts in, in a box. It's gonna be like the next uh, Atari box. <laughs> no, the the Phantom. That what that that thing from like 2001. The that was called the Phantom or something. Also, yeah, holy shit, there is the Atari box and there's the Intellivision Roma. I haven't heard of that. Oh no, there's a new Intellivision coming out. Huh. Tommy Tallarico is. I was gonna say working on it, but no, he's just producing it. But yeah, Tommy Tallarico is building it himself. I mean, why can't we just have a world where we have the Ouya 2? Just 
We almost did. We almost did. Uh, we almost did. They were gearing up on making a uh, revision for the Ouya, and they announced it. And they just didn't happen. Yeah, because they, I th they I, shot their self they sold in the, the foot so many times with the irregular Ouya. What, didn't they sell the company to Razer? I don't know something? if they did that'd be impressive. No, I think I think they straight up like sold themselves to either Razer or Nvidia. I think hmm. Razer cuz Nvidia would just be pointless. Like, oh cool, look at all these Tegra 4s we already have. <laughs> like I think they sold themselves to Razer and then Razer just kind of like like cut it. So, I don't I don't know. Anyways, guys, we have finally made it to the end of this mini discussion series. I want to thank you for all watching. Let us know in the comment section below what you think this generation coming up is going to look like because I'm very interested and it might be something a lot different than what we're used to. So definitely, definitely looking out for that. So be sure to follow us on our social media pages, including our Facebook and Twitter accounts. Be sure to also support us on Patreon to receive exclusive perks. I want to thank our super patron, the Duke of Dorks. His channel will be linked in the description below as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this entire discussion mini-series. It's going to be in a playlist if you want to listen to all of it. So that we will make sure to do that. And we will see you, well, whatever comes next.